Hey Elders fans, how we doing? Mr. A2G back playing some more Elder Scroll Blades. How we going guys? Okay, I thought I might take you on a little bit of a mission or quest or see what is available for us. Um, so we're just talking to Eunice the Elder and he's basically just giving us some feedback or some info about um, possibly, hopefully, your next mission I would think. But if not, and okay, I'm gonna have to let her leave us alone. I'm not too sure what the best of time is. Um, okay, well, whatever. Okay, yep, no worries. So, yeah, well, all right, new quest the Bloodfall Queen. Ooh, okay. So, we could always go to the Bloodfall Queen, check it out. Hopefully, this will be um, a decent mission for us. Okay, okay, so made much progress. Okay, regarding the Eyelid Crypt under the town, first Sasha learned, okay, he was buried in the tomb. An ancient Eyelid Sorcerer King ruled over these lands back in the first era. Okay, little is known of him. His successor went on, uh, went to great lengths to find a um, raise from historical records. Interesting, anything else? Okay, yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, cool. So a couple of things have happened. So we've got a couple of missions here. Let's see if we can bring it up and hopefully my phone doesn't lag too much. Oh my god, these are four skull. Okay, that's gonna be fun. Um, alright, well let's talk to the Blood Queen. Did a blood fall banners, ten still ingot for our troubles. Um, okay. Oh well let's let's okay. Too challenging, should you increase your level? I don't know. I don't know whether I should. You know what? I might actually hold out on that. Let's hold out on that. And I want you guys to tell me in the comments, based on my my player at this point in time, is he capable enough to go through, you know, such a feat? Um, so I'm just going to bring up my character now. And I'll definitely do it in the next video. So this is what I've got equipped. So this is what my guy is. Now remember, I haven't invested any um, money into the game or anything like that, so this is just purely like a free-to-play, If I was, a, um, which I am free-to-play player. Um, based on what I have at the moment, will this be enough? Okay, and I want you guys to let me know if I were to do either of those missions in my next video, will it be enough? So with that being said, we'll, we might leave that there for the moment because it doesn't appear to be a timer on it. So meaning that I should be able to take on this at any stage. So let's go to the job board. Let's see what is available and what I have timer on. So we've got a couple of these easy ones here. These have got about 21 hours. And what I've noticed, ooh, okay. What I've noticed with through some of these um, missions, every time that you do a mission of any sort of description, Obviously, you're going to lose um, durability on your on your armor, your weaponry, and everything else in between that requires repairs. So, on average, from what I've been able to look at, you're losing around about 200 to 260 gold each time you do a mission. So, for a lot of people that are doing free-to-play like myself here, you, you sort of want to make sure that you're doing missions that's going to sort of return you better... Um, uh, dividends for your investment. So what I mean by that is your investment for um, going into the zone and the repair cost for your um, armor and weapons. So in this case, what I can see here is I've got this is only a one skull job. There's going to be a mystery chest somewhere um, that we're going to get, and we're going to get over two and a half um, thousand gold and twelve gems. I mean, this is one hell of a uh, mission to do or job, so so to speak. So. You know, for people that are starting out or if you you got yourself into that situation where um, you've invested way too much and you do not have any sort of um, uh, weapons, armor, it's all broken and you guys aren't able to progress on, start doing missions that you can find that are relatively easy that will allow you to um, pretty much, you know, recoup any sort of um, you know, uh, loss that you've had, you know, up until this time. So, I mean, it's up to you how you guys want to do it. That's that's probably my way of doing it. Um, you know, it's probably a good way of doing it. And to be perfectly honest, if you check out um, a YouTube, YouTuber, sorry, by the name of Win Sanity, 
he does a lot of blades videos he's f way further progressed than what i what i am at this stage um i don't think i'll ever sort of catch up to him to be honest with you but uh definitely go check him out win sanity he's um excellent youtuber very very knowledgeable about this game um is already getting into builds and things like that as well something that i'm not really too heavily um knowledgeable on myself so if you guys really want to work out or understand you know the game a little bit more and want to work out what type of builds that you can do for your player um, depending on what type of race that you've um, selected i'm sure that there's going to be something like there eventually he's already done one or two builds i believe um, but go check him out on his channel check out his playlist um, and yeah hopefully you guys will um you know hopefully benefit from it i'm sure you will because there's a lot of info that he um, that he likes to uh, dish out and uh provide so yeah you definitely want to check it out anyway back to this so we need to grab if i well if my player will let me thank you okay and we are on to the next path and usually people can sort of um dodge some of these um you know enemies here that's obviously a good thing to do but <laughs> in tight and narrow holes like this you're not going to get that option it's rather annoying but what do you do okay so this looks like a like a main room let's just take you out let's take the pelt i don't know if there's anything there that i can click and my guy's just doing what he wants to do let's just grab that grab that thank you very much so far i don't see anything any secret entrances or anything like that i think the in some of the recent updates they've changed that and that you can actually now um you know you'll know if you're if you're in a zone that has a secret room or secret rooms um, you know in a plural sense but that is number five out of six Ooh. okay and And we are going through here. Items already full. I don't see anything of interest here whatsoever. Okay. I'm just going to go around the other side just to see if there's anything here. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. So let's walk down a little further. And there's got to be something here. Oh, there we go. He's sort of directing me now okay let's go all the way back completely missed it wow i'm gonna have to play the video back and see if i you know if i actually went past it and had no idea that i did it was you know in plain sight that is not on my luck that it is and i just completely went oh you know i'm just rolling around and i had no idea that this was here which is probably going to be the case for me Okay, well, you know what, that is, hang on, where is it, oh there it is, I went completely past it in the first place when I went down that, down the stairs there, okay, so there's no mystery or anything like that, so <coughs> let's claim that, oh no, I said explore, didn't I, oh my god, what did I do that for, complete quest, okay, come on, complete quest, there we go. So I don't know why this it's laggy on my phone. I mean, I've got a relatively, you know, decent phone I'd like to, you know, I like to think. But I don't know. These newer games with their requirements and things like that. Yeah, just crazy. Okay, so let's, um, let's go back over to the job board there. We'll, we'll knock one more out and we'll probably call it a video. I might do an easy one or something or other. But like I said, actually... What am I doing? Let's go back to the smithy. And this was the other thing I wanted to sort of show you guys as well. So now that I did, you know, a mission there, got over two and a half thousand worth of uh, uh, gold. So let's go to the smith and let's repair. So by doing a mission like that, 130 coins. And that's basically all my weapons and armor, um, you know, repaired. Good to go again. So, <coughs> So I got 2,660 gold and that cost me 130. So I still got over two and a half thousand coins as a profit. 
So I, I guess that's a really good idea to sort of work on. Um, you can go into missions and you can see something like this if you need a topaz, if you needed the gems, or if you just want to try your luck with the mystery chest, you probably want to jump into it and, you know, and do the mission itself. So, I mean, it, that's up to you guys, but I'm going to try and find another mission that might give us some gold, perhaps. If not, I might do the time constraint one. Okay, so you got one here at 665 gold, and that's a one, that's a one skull. And then I've got another one here that's a two skull. So let's do the <clears throat> let's do the one skull. And and basically just finish off the mission quite quickly. So let's see how we go with it. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section. Um, you know, do you guys look for these type of uh, missions just so you can get your gold up? Um, you know, do you just do the missions based on what you think you might need? Um, you know, or do you just you know blindly just jump into it and you know uh, hope for the best if anything okay so I don't think I needed anything here so that's fine health is full and ooh, okay what's going on here I'll go further can I go further okay ooh, that doesn't look too good Anyway, I'm just going to go take this guy out, but if you really wanted to, arguably, you can just sort of sidestep, go down the other side and avoid, you know, conflict and combat, but, you know, if anything, I'm just trying to find all sorts of gold and whatever, and hopefully, and obviously pick up any chests along the way as well, but also if you want to avoid any enemies, you can definitely do this in this game, it is doable, it just depends on your circumstance, and, you know, you won't be able to more or less do it inside this sort of little corridor so you've got no choice but to sort of engage it in, into a combat into a fight and oh, he tries to hit me i think he did get me anyway so let's just go down here take him out nice and easy Ooh, what happened there just come out of nowhere Thank you very much let's just take you out as well Oop, oh. Nice attack, 105, that was decent. And he dropped a gem. So I think, yeah, so some of these um, enemies now are dropping gems, which is awesome. So I think this was based on feedback as well that the, um, the players have given the, uh, the developers as well, which is a good thing. So they are making advancements in the game and, and tweaking it here and there to hopefully try and optimize the gameplay and make it a little bit more enjoyable for us. There is that big cave element, it's still there, it's not going away unfortunately, but you can't sort of, you know, take that out of, out of account, so it is there, it is here to stay. You know, if you want to pay to win, you pay to win. You, if you want to, you know, play to play, then you play to play. I mean, it's as simple as that. Okay, and let's just work down this way. And, whoop, there we go. Take out that. And what do we have here? Okay, so if we explore the area, that's basically it. That's just the exploration of things. But by exploring, so if you even do these type of missions that you just explore, if you can pretty much weasel your way through and, you know, take on less combat as much as possible, by the end of it, you're not going to have to worry about um, uh, repair costs as much. And then you're, you know, you're investing your time and effort to get more gold or whatever it might be. So this, we got 600 gold. We got a silver chest. If you do a silver chest and then, you know, claim for it after after it's one hour, you're going to get um, some, you know, either some gold and, and possibly some decent loot and items. So, yeah, I mean, it just depends on how you guys want to do it. Um, you know, that's just probably a good way of doing it. Now that I've just leveled up as well, so I'm level 10 now. I'm still trying to work out what I want to do with builds and things like that, so I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm probably not the best person at the moment to actually go through that as a conversation piece. So once I sort of get more of an understanding of, on how it works, I'll probably, you know, do a build of my own and I'll, I'll let you know, let you guys know about it. You guys can see it and all that sort of stuff. So for 650, sorry, 660 gold, you're paying 134. You know into repairing your items so you're still making a tidy profit so you're still making over 500 coins which is good and i feel like you know if you do something like that you know you grind on it off for a few days 
you'll start getting yourself some decent, um, you know, gold and things like that. Especially when it when it comes to investing in the town, repairing it, and things like that. You know, that's obviously, you know, what you can put towards and contribute to that. Because I mean, eventually, it the, the game does suck you dry with, you know, um, you know, paying the currency and things like that. So, yeah, I mean, however you guys want to look at it anyway, but. Hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you think of it let me know what you think or, or let me know what you guys do actually job wise what do you guys focus on how do you do it um any sort of information would be great and helpful not only to myself but everyone else that watched the videos if you like the video make sure you hit the like button and comment down below with any information or just a general hello whatever it might be if you guys are new to the channel discover the game um and watching me play and you enjoy it make sure you hit the subscribe button notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any future videos anyway guys take it easy we will catch you next time Oop. maybe later see you guys